check the first link in the info box down below. Get your very own Swamp Family pop socket today. They are available in the standard pop socket and a mirrored pop socket where you can have one and two times mirror magnification. Get yours today, limited time only. When I say bananas, you say peppers. And today is gonna be like three types of videos mashed into one, partially buying my Amazon stationery wish list, part testing out miscellaneous art supplies, and part what was that voice part preparing? Uh, you guys, I have decided this year I want to once again, I don't know if I'm gonna call it Wreck It Wednesdays, uh, but I got another Wreck This journal. You guys, I feel like every January, I swear I started this series originally in January is when we started Wreck It Wednesdays. I don't remember now because it's been so long. I don't think I've ever finished a Wreck This journal either. I think we've done it like kind of two and a half times. I don't think I've ever done the same prompt twice. And I somehow don't think I've ever finished one entire wreck -It journal. But I have seen this thing just all the time lately on my TikTok. And so I thought, you know what? Maybe it would be fun to do some like long form, like crafting journaling stuff here on Banana Peppers with you guys. And then maybe I'll do some of them as TikToks. First, I'll just show you guys the newest stuff that I got on Amazon. So that was the Wreck This Journal, which I swear this one is thicker than it has ever been before. It is supposed to have new prompts, so I don't know if we've ever had this exact copy. Thought maybe this time I would want some stamp pads. And this brand looks really familiar. I don't know if I've had this exact one before or just some other items from this brand. This is the brand I used to see all the time at Michael's as well as Joann's. It's Jim Holtz, but they have these things called Distress Ink. I actually ordered a couple of different shades, but they're just not here yet. But this is called Tea Dye. Also, it makes me a little nervous. This is so weird. I've never seen another ink pad look like that. Doesn't that look weird? The case seems awful. Look, I'll show you. Like it doesn't actually like clasp together. I have a bag that I was going to start collecting all of my supplies that I thought would be good for the Wreck This Journal. I was just gonna put them all in one place because there are a couple of the prompts that I do remember. That's why I was like, oh, I need stamp pads and the next couple of things you guys see. Like I, I also remember like certain prompts having to do with certain shapes and stuff. I was gonna keep it all in a bag, but I feel like I cannot keep this in a bag because it's just gonna get all over everything. I also was doing a little winter cleaning and I found our official stationary paper, like our swatch paper. So I'm just gonna go like this. Like that's, oh, see, that makes me like concerned. Cause I thought I was just gonna like make a mess here. Like, don't you think that it should be stamping a whole square? That's so weird, you guys. I think I kind of got a dud, which is so weird because it was plastic wrapped, but this is just, I don't know. I'm kind of like annoyed that I have two more of these on the way, but I guess it'll be good to compare when those two of them, I have a green one and then one that was called like worn lipstick or something. It'll be interesting to like compare when those two come in, like if the packaging is just as bad and the stamp pad is just as dry. All right, up next is something that I really love, these Fiskars cutters. I have one that is hexagonal that I like to use for the cover of the journals, but I do remember there being a prompt about circles. I don't remember now if it was like draw a bunch of circles. If so, I guess I won't be needing this, but I kind of thought it was just like fill the page with circles or something. So I thought that this would be so fun. You literally just go like that. Easy to use. There we go. Ta-da! And now that like flew on the floor. So that's kind of cool too, cause you could like leave behind a circle to create like a little window effect or you can just cut circles out of things. Wow, one inch circle. Uh, up next I have some tissue paper and I'm not gonna unwrap this yet cause I'm sure you guys will be able to see. It's just like, I think it's like 500 sheets, 252 sheets. 42 different colors in here. 
So I think it's every color of the rainbow. Plus there were a couple that were like stripes and polka dots and stuff. But I think I'm gonna try and do something with tissue paper and water for the journal that is gonna hopefully look very, very cool. Sippy, sippy. All right, um, I finally got one of these, you guys. Do y'all get ads for these endlessly? This is the one thing that I did not get on Amazon. I had to buy this from actually the website itself. Baboon to the moon! I endlessly, endlessly, on both TikTok and Instagram, get baboon to the moon ads. They had these giant like canvas tote bags. And I think that this shade actually was called magenta. To me, it's like a little bit more of like a flamingo pink, but I am gonna dye this one. I'm gonna dye this one. And I think I also want to stamp it. Like I saw these stamps on Etsy the other day that are in the shape of safety pins. So I'm like, how cute would it be to like dye this bag like a deeper color of like fuchsia and then like just stamp all over it with stamps and like silver paint or something let me know should i make a video doing that or should i just show you guys like the finished product also i am shocked by like how it's really heavy right now because it's like full of stuff i look at how big this is like i feel like i can barely show you guys in the whole entirety of the camera it's like it's huge like i thought it was gonna be like a little tote bag like oh my god I would have loved this in like my college days because I always loved using like tote bags versus backpacks I don't know why up next is oh this is actually something I got for dog man but I thought you guys would love to see this too and it's like totally like a stationary type thing but it's called the bright ideas journal it is just like a regular journal and you can see on the side, like the binding, there's all these different like sections of like different colored paper. So if you're, you know, just wanting to keep like different notes on like different subjects or whatever, you can color, categorize everything. I don't know if he's gonna enjoy like brightly colored paper. I feel like maybe red can be kind of distracting to write on, but I don't know. I saw it on Amazon. It was like a thing that was suggested. So I was like, maybe he will like that. Up next is something that we are definitely going to make a whole video on. It is from um, Kuratake, which is actually a brand that we've bought off of Jet Pens a lot. But look at this. This is called the At Home ink cafe this is probably mostly a haul today i feel like i'm just showing you guys stuff that we're gonna do in the future so this comes with yellow blue gray transparent and red ink and i think it has like a recipe card in there it has a clear um i can't tell if it's like a brush pen i think that that's what it is kind of like a watercolor pen so you just make your own custom colored inks which i think is really really fun and interesting up next oh this is something else kind of along those lines it's actually called moon man and this is a Ooh, it's like even cooler than I thought it would be. Look at this. The only thing I wish they had was like silver instead of gold, but it's like a little dropper. And then this is a um, fountain pen. I couldn't think, I wanted to call it a brush tip again, but like, look at how cute that is. You can fill it up with your own ink that you either make or buy. And oh my gosh, I didn't know that it's like a twist off cap fancy also i feel like this is great if you're like making your own inks and you just want to you know try just a little bit of one color that you make i feel like you could probably wash this out really easy make another color of ink test that out let's see what is up next in my bag of tricks i honestly don't even remember i'm glad i have these i need these oh thought that these were the weirdest thing you guys i honestly cannot believe that this is something that exists it's glue that is scented <laughs> like i remember all growing up you know they were like don't sniff the glue and now this is like glue specifically 
to sniff. Six sticks are the magical disappearing purple glue, which, oh, don't smell that. See, it, very, it becomes very confusing. You know, which glue do you sniff and which glue do you not sniff? You know, once you start opening a world of sniffable glue, uh, these don't smell good. I remember when these like first became a thing and it was like magical, magical purple disappearing glue. Okay, so you get six sticks to not smell and six sticks to smell. So let's see, this one is watermelon. Ew la la. This smells so good. Okay, first of all, it's clear. Looks a little moldy, um, but it smells amazing. Like, it smells like candy. Like, <laughs> I almost feel like this is like questionable to give to a child. Uh, blueberry muffin glue stick. That doesn't smell like anything. Like, it literally has no scent except for like maybe a little bit of glue. Chocolate brownie scented glue? What? Oh. That is so weird, you guys, because it literally has a brownie scent to it. I feel like we've been through this before. I don't know why I'm showing you guys just a clear glue stick, but I feel like we've been through this before where we had some other scented product and it was supposed to be like chocolate chip cookie. And I said it was like spot on because it wasn't just like a, a chocolate smell. Like it actually also smelled like fresh baked cookies. And this is like exactly the same thing, except for it smells just like brownies. It's not just chocolate. It's not like a chocolate cookie smell. It is a chocolate brownie. Up next, sugar cookie. Let's see if this, I feel like this is not a scent that people get. That is so weird, you guys. Once again, it is like a sweet cookie scent. I don't, so far blueberry muffin is the only one that hasn't had like any scent to it. Apple, apple pie. Okay, this really just smells like apples. And the last one is mango pineapple. Blah. Just sitting here smelling glue, you guys. I don't really smell, I don't know. It's like, this is the only one that I feel like, it's not like the blueberry one where it just like doesn't smell at all, but it's like such an ambiguous scent that it just kind of smells a little bit tropical, but I don't really smell like pineapple. Up next is something that I must have bought for another video. <laughs> I wanted to do, which I think it's like dawned on me, you guys. I filmed the first half of this video and then I never finished filming it, but I bought a bunch of weird stationary items on Amazon. So maybe I should have saved, or, or maybe I should save this for that. Um, it's like a, okay, I'm trying to read it in French, table tennis. I couldn't think, what is the difference between table tennis and ping pong? Is it the same thing? I don't know. It is like notebooks that you can play ping pong with. Like both sides is actually a paddle. And then there's a, like a separate notebook that you set up that's like the net. Now, it doesn't come with a ping pong ball. So I guess you have to supply your own ping pong ball. Up next, we've got McDoodle, McDoodle Fry Notes. <laughs> that's what I was, every, everything I pull out right now, it's a surprise to me because when, how long ago did I order the McDoodle notes? A long time. I think I started buying some of this stuff over Amazon Prime Day, which how long ago was that? Fry notes, sticky notes, 125 sheets. And it looks like really, <laughs> what? Oh, I'm noting it. You guys, I swear the month of January just does something to my brain where suddenly I'm like words. What are they? I thought it said I'm nothing, which would be a really depressing slogan, um, but it says I'm noting it. Yes, look at that. It's so cute. McDoodle container. Ta-da. Here is your fry paper. And the fries are honestly like really photorealistic. I'm pretty impressed. So I don't know if this is just a notepad or if it's like sticky notes. It's not really sticky. It's more of a notepad. Maybe if you put it in like a book or something where you were gonna like close the pages, but you definitely couldn't like, well, <laughs> all right, maybe you can. We'll just see how long that lasts. I was gonna say you couldn't like stick this to like a fridge or something like that. I feel like it's not sticky enough. Let's see? All right, up next, I've got lots 
of pins and highlighters. Two things are things that I'm now looking at and I'm wondering if I got them from Amazon Japan. I don't know. They are Sarasa pins and these were in a vintage color, col vintage color collection. You guys, it's like the words are getting halfway stuck in my brain. So they came out with two vintage colors and I sadly do not think that anywhere written on here does it say what each set was called because see here it just says vintage colors but they don't tell me like what the colors because they were like vintage color names do you know what i'm saying like each set had a different vintage name and then all of the pens in there also had like vintagey sounding names so let me swatch them for you guys right now i'm just gonna show you guys what the pen looks like Ooh, that's like christmas colors <gasps> Ooh, see, I don't know if it's this magical swatching paper or sometimes if the pens are just like higher quality inks because these like actually look like I swatched these two gray ones next to each other, the lighter gray next to the darker gray and the color payoff is like really impressive. <gasps> Ooh, guys, this one's like a brown shade. I bet this one's like really pretty. It's like a wine plum shade. So do these give you guys like vintage vibes? Ooh, I like that one too. Ta-da! How would we describe this blue? Ooh, that's kind of like brighter than I thought it would be. See, a lot of these colors I really just don't have a name for. One last one, a navy blue. My camera was overheating. Uh, so up next I have some of these, which I swear this is another thing that Amazon like recommends to me a lot. So I don't know if it's like an Amazon brand or something, shuttle art, shuttle art. Are we going in space? So these are pastel highlighters, eight colors, chisel tip, they looked delightful this is my favorite color i just um swatched it while my camera was having a moment but look at that doesn't that just look like <gasps> aesthetic like if i could figure out a way to like turn this into a keychain i would these are all the shades swatched most of them are pastel some of them i would argue like are not pastel and some of them are in fact so pastel that you can barely see them and i feel like sometimes it's good for me to gravitate towards pastel type things because i never i never do um i'm always into like bold vibrant colors you guys i cannot oh there we go i was like struggling to get this closed again last two things are things that once again i feel like these were on my amazon wish list forever i kind of wanted to see how they compared to the jelly roll because you guys know no matter how many other things i try i feel like sakura jelly roll pens will like always be my favorite pen color Relly? is that seriously look one of them came in like a fancy little Ziploc bag and uh one of them came just loose you guys I'm trying to find my last two brain cells today okay they're chucking along on the gerbil wheel and it's not going so well for them maybe it's all the glue I just sniffed I was trying to say like should I keep this bag to keep you know because the Wreck-It Wednesday journal it gets kind of messy I literally just call this the Wreck-It Wednesday journal <laughs> like as if that's the actual brand of it look at that it gets messy, you know, there's like lots of moist prompts. And this is kind of like perfectly sized for that. So maybe I should like keep this with this stuff. Y'all, I've gone on so many diatribes today. Let's swatch these. These look suspiciously opened and shut. I guess these are maybe returned. I'm starting to get suspicious of Amazon and their new item sticker you guys, cause these, look at how nicely these are sealed. These, look at that. I haven't opened these yet. And like the bottom is like missing the sticky tape. The top definitely looks tampered with. So let's look at fluorescent first and see, this is like crazy, you guys. This is like the weirdest color selection I think that I've 
ever seen. It's like three shades of orange and four, five shades of green. This is very, very weird. Just like me, so it's perfect. I don't think I'm gonna keep these bags. These are boxes. See what I'm saying? Last two brain cells. This is like a day that I feel like I have like kind of dead energy. It's like, do you know? Also my sassy bun, look at that, it's drooping. I feel like I started out very sassy in this video and now look at me. I feel like this is one of those days where I have like not great energy to be filming a video, but I feel like filming a video. And so here we are. Also you guys, these, <gasps> yeah, these are not, I'm sorry, but basic, basic, basic Colorelli pins. Yeah, these are really weird. I don't know why, like I'm always on this quest to find like different kinds of jelly roll. It's kind of like if you just like a certain product by a certain brand, like why even try and find something else, I guess? Give me a minute and then I'll tell you about them. You guys! Oh, first of all, this one, which honestly I would be so excited for, but look at that compared to like the other ones. It has no ink in the barrel and it will not write at all. And I was doing a lot of scribbling down here. He skip a lot. And I don't even know if y'all are gonna really be able to see the colors that well, because some of them are like just, okay, I found my um, black paper tablet. Oh, <gasps> I thought somebody said the other day on TikTok that fluorescent pens show up on black paper. But once again, I think it was the jelly rolls. Cause you guys, some of the super light ones like this fluorescent yellow, I thought, well, maybe it'll show up on black paper, but it literally doesn't. Like, can y'all see that? It just makes the ink look clear. I'm hoping we're not gonna be as disappointed by the probably pre-used glitter version. Okay, I'm gonna do some swatches and then I'm gonna tell you about it. I'm gonna go ahead and stop recording so I'm not even tempted to like mumble nonsense at you while I swatch them and I'll be back. Final thoughts. I feel like you definitely get some different kind of colors that I can't immediately recall are available um, in Jelly Roll. Like you get a red shade, but instead of red, it's almost like a cherry red. The pink is like kind of a fuchsia pink. There's like a marigold color, a brown, which is really pretty, but unfortunately, and they say gel pen. I just double red on the barrel. Cause I was like, okay, wait, is this just like, glitter and fluorescent, but somehow like ballpoint pen, because that is what the writing experience feels like. They kind of like deposit large chunks of ink. I feel like in our past stationary videos, that's always something I complain about. Um, why I'm not that crazy into like ballpoint pens is because often like they're either skipping or they're just like, pfft, like spitting out large amounts of ink. And these write like that, like, they skip and then it's like they just drop a turd of like too much ink in one tiny little space. I would definitely say, go ahead and just get some Jelly Roll pins. Uh, these are weird. I don't know, they look really pretty. Like, I feel like that's why I was drawn to them. I feel like that's why they were on my list for a really long time. It's just something about this, like visually looks appealing to me in a way that I almost, cannot describe or put my finger on, uh, but the writing experience, not so much. So that is where I leave you guys today. Let me know if y'all are excited about Wreck This Journal. I know that I had a tendency to start it and then not finish it. And um, am I gonna do that this time? Maybe, probably, but we'll have some fun along the way. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below. Subscribe, become a member of the Banana Pepper Squad today. Also, if you want, you can um, click on the links in the info box down below. The first link will take you guys to Swamp Family Pop Sockets. Also, the link to my Snapchat show will be down there. I upload a brand new episode every Monday and Thursday. And it will also take you guys to my TikTok, which is TikTok at Graveyard Girl. And I'll be back again very, very soon. But until I am, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll be back again very, very soon. Bye.